Hi, I'm Pierre Horn, a Senior Solutions Consultant in OpenText Portfolio Sales. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a hypothetical compliance process and demonstrate how to increase its efficiency through powerful document-centric workflow. In California, consumers are now protected by the recently introduced Consumer Privacy Act. The California Consumer Privacy Act, commonly referred to as CCPA, protects consumer rights and enables them to make requests regarding their personal data. The CCPA is not unlike other compliance regulatory requirements in other jurisdictions, for example, GDPR in Europe. Let's take a look at a business that we worked with that was experiencing difficulties after the initial implementation of their right to delete data request process. SoCalMoto is located in California and is required to handle compliance data requests for the CCPA. SoCalMoto thought they had a pretty solid standard operating procedure to handle these requests when they initially rolled it out. Here's how they envisioned the process. The consumer makes a request to delete their personal information. Customer support would send the request to compliance office and the compliance analyst would action that request. Throughout the process, the privacy officer would keep track of the request. And once a sign off was provided, the privacy officer would send an email to the consumer that the request was completed. Unfortunately, they were relying too heavily on email and the transition from support to the compliance office was sometimes lost causing delays. The privacy officer was using a spreadsheet to track the requests and was becoming concerned that it was no longer accurate and wasn't providing sufficient information. Finally, in some cases, the notification back to the consumer was either delayed or not sent at all. SoCalMoto decided they needed a solution that would resolve these problems, and thankfully, OpenText was able to deliver document-centric workflow. Let's take a look at how OpenText document-centric workflow solved these problems. At this point, Rachel, the consumer, made a request to delete her personal information by phone. Noah, the customer support representative, received the request and sent an authorization form to File360 Database Engine to be automatically indexed into the system. And at the same time, this has initiated the data request workflow in Execute360. Now, Angela, the compliance analyst, takes over in File360. Angela can view the available workflow work sets. She opens the first work set queue, Confirm Identity and chooses to reserve Rachel's work item from the queue. This ensures that the request is reserved for her to work on during this work step. Angela is required to confirm that the information Rachel provided is in fact found in SoCal's CRM system, and she confirms the identity and returns to the open work item from her work list. She opens the item from her work list and views the workflow fields in the left panel and the form document in the OpenText Brava viewer on the right. To move this step along, she simply selects yes to confirm she found Rachel's identity in their CRM system. She clicks send on, and this moves the work item forward to the next step. As you can see, Angela's view of the workflow is quite simple. Even though the background Execute360 is automating a number of work steps and business rules to ensure the work item is efficiently routed to the next appropriate work step in the workflow. Returning to File360, the data request has been processed and is nearly complete. May, the privacy officer, wants to view information about Rachel's data request work item. May opens the View Request Details Retrieval template and performs a search for Rachel. She can see there are two work items in the Hit List Results panel on the right. She selects the appropriate work item and clicks on the work item history in the taskbar above. May can now view a complete audit history of the work item, including the assigned resources and event timestamp. May is happy with what she sees and returns to the privacy officer's sign off work queue.
she completes the request by providing her sign-off on Rachel's work item. She clicks Send On, and now Execute360 sends an email on her behalf to Rachel, letting her know that her request to delete her personal data has been completed. I just showed you how document-centric workflow resolved SoCalMoto's problems they were experiencing, which increased the efficiency of their process. Customer support was able to efficiently initiate the document workflows, sending it to the compliance office. The compliance analyst was able to quickly action the work item and progress it through the document workflow in a timely manner. Finally, the privacy officer was able to securely track the request with confidence and complete the document workflow. SoCalMoto was happy with the results of implementing document-centric workflow in their organization and plans on using it for many other key business processes. If you have questions, we would love to hear from you. Reach out to IGC underscore sales at opentext.com and explore product information at opentext.com, file 360, or search for document-centric workflow.